I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from our new subscriber Karthik. Karthik, thanks a lot for sharing all the questions. I'll be providing you the solutions one by one. Here is a very first one. We need to find limit of this complicated function, which is x minus x over square root of 1 minus x square divided by 1 plus x square over square root of 1 minus x square divided by x cube. Now to solve such questions, we may have to do rationalization. But before that, we need to simplify these three layers of fractions. So that is kind of very critical step. So let's rewrite this in a better form. So we'll write this as limit x approaches 0. Now we can take this as a common denominator. So it gets multiplied with x, right? And you get x times square root of 1 minus x square minus x in the numerator. So I'll write here as x times square root of 1 minus x square minus x, right? So that becomes a numerator and the denominator for this is square root of 1 minus x square, correct? Now let's look into the denominator of the this part, right? So here again, I'll multiply. And so what we get here is 1 times this, so that just the square root, 1 minus x square within square root, plus x square, right? So plus x square divided by 1 minus x square square root, right? 1 minus x square square root. Now everything divided by x cube, I could write this on the side as 1 over x cube, okay? So that is a rearrangement. So I hope this step is absolutely clear. Now let's cancel out things. 1 minus x square square root gets cancelled. So we have much simpler expression now to work with. So we'll write this as limit. x approaches 0. The numerator is x times. Now x we can take common, right? We will take x common. So we have square root of 1 minus x square minus 1 and the denominator for this will be all this which is square root of 1 minus x square plus x square times 1 over x cube. Okay. Now again we can simplify we can cancel this x with this and we'll get x squared here, right? So I write this as equal to limit x approaches 0. <clears throat> so in the numerator, we have 1 minus x squared minus 1. In the denominator, we have all this times x squared. So let me write x squared first. And within the bracket, we have square root of 1 minus x square plus x square. Bracket close, right? Now at this stage, we should actually rationalize, right? So I'm going to rationalize the numerator. So multiply and divide by square root of 1 minus x square plus 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x square plus 1. So that is the rationalization which is to be done always whenever you have square root functions, right? Okay, so we get this as limit x approaches 0. So the numerator will be difference of squares. So we get 1 minus x square, that is the first square, minus minus 1, right? And the denominator is x square times all this, which is square root of 1 minus x square plus x square times what we rationalized with, right? Which is square root of 1 minus x square plus 1. Now in the numerator, 1 minus 1 is 0. We're left with minus x squared. So we could write this as limit. x approaches 0. We have minus x squared 
and in the denominator all this with x square square root of 1 minus x square plus x square times square root of 1 minus x square plus 1 right now x square and x square cancel we are left with minus 1 on the top so we are left with minus 1 here so we could write this as equal to limit x approaches 0 and here we have minus 1 right so and in the denominator we have all this which is square root of 1 minus x square plus x square times square root of 1 minus x square plus 1. Now since we have cancelled x squares that was the factor which was giving us 0 by 0 right to begin with I should have substituted 0 and clearly we see x minus 0 minus 0 is 0 divided by 0. So this was indeterminate of the form 0 over 0, right? So this was of the form 0 over 0, and therefore we rationalize. Now, since we cancel this common factor, which was creating a 0 in the numerator and denominator, we can substitute the value of x as 0. And then we get the limit of this particular function. So we get minus 1 over, substituting 0, we get in the first bracket 1 plus 0 and here we get 1 plus 1 right 1 plus 1 so the answer is minus 1 over 2 so limit of this function just calculated is equal to minus half okay so that is how you're going to do it so it's kind of complicated especially to begin with a three layer of functions so you need to simplify it and then rationalize. Rationalize numerator, that will be better. I hope that helps. Feel free to make your suggestions, write comments, and if you like to share my videos, that would be great. Thank you, and all the best.